Oh, real costume, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Lord. <laughs> all right, all right, let's get this word going. Oh, I'm going to look at a verse of scripture in Genesis. Genesis chapter 12. Genesis chapter 12. Wow. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> There's a fair line between the two. All right. It just depends on how you look at it. There is no faith without risk. All right. All right. All right. All right. Faith in its purest form uh, is having the courage to do that which is courageous. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Hebrews 11 talks about it. Faith being the evidence yeah. uh -huh. of things going for it. The evidence of things I've seen. The first object to which our faith is to be applied is to God. All right. All right. I mean, the kind of faith that the Bible talks about. We, we, we demonstrate faith every day. Y'all work all week. And hope you're going to get paid on Friday. Oh, Amen. <laughs> but you don't know. The company could go under. <laughs> and they had no future. Uh, God is the invisible reality of the process of faith. Yeah. In other words, faith makes God real. Yes, yeah. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't have any faith, God ain't real. Dude. That's right. All right. Amen. Did somebody talk to you about God? Yeah. But the Bible never argues for the existence of faith of God. Amen. It just said in the beginning, God. God. Yeah. That's all. In the beginning, God. If you if you can't, well, let me keep my theology straight here. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Because unless God gives you the faith. <laughs> you won't have nothing to me, me. believe in anyway. the right. It all comes from God. Amen. Yes, Lord. But listen, faith doesn't apply if you got all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> if you can see everywhere you're going, <laughs> and how are you going to get there? Yeah. <laughs> faith doesn't matter. If you got all the information, mm. not missing, you got it all. Okay? You don't need faith. Amen. If you have all the answers and all the information, all questions are answered. So we talking faith. Uh is exercised when you have missing information. Yeah. Okay. Or you have questions you can't. Well. You can only use faith when your senses cannot process it. All right. Huh? Yeah. If you can feel it, yeah. see it, well, touch it, hear it, smell it, yeah. It's not fair. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but it's when those five senses can't figure out what you do. All right. Mm -hmm. The faith locks in. Amen. 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 Cut it out, man. Now, just a little brief, brief explanation. I guess I can put it down until it starts this year. <laughs> this little brief explanation allows us to back back into the text we're looking at. <laughs> All right. It allows us to back go into this passage. Yeah. 
Let me give a few more explanations for faith, if you don't mind. Right. Faith yeah. is being sure of the things we hope for. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we hope for. Amen. Being convinced that things we can't see yes. physically oh and real. Oh 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 yeah. Faith is the yes. title deed to things hoped for. Yeah. Mm. The convention conviction of things which are being believed. Yeah. Faith means that we are certain of things we hope for. Yeah. Convention of things we do not hope. Give us some different explanations of faith. What, what does it tell me? In order to please God, I've got to learn how to exercise faith. Faith, my assurance and confidence in something I can't see. Yeah. Yeah. Confidence in something or someone, something. The substance is the foundation. The title deed of actually <laughs> the possession of what I'm hoping for. Evidence mm -hmm. is the conviction in my heart to accept what I don't see yeah. and read. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this does lead you to the text. Okay? We, we're going to examine this text we want because Abraham is known to be the father yeah. of the faith. Or the, or, or the father of faith. He alone with others is listed in the hall of, hall of fame. All right. In the faith hall of fame. Yeah. You know, they had this weekend, they had down there yeah. the various yeah. categories of inductees right. who had done, yeah, the rock hall, who had done something great. Right. I heard that, uh, oh, I heard several of them in town. Several names out for me, I can't call them yeah. right now. Yeah. JC, was that one of them? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the one I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. LL Cool J. <laughs> Indu inducted in. They've got up all up in there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. How many of y'all follow me in Revelation? Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 See, if, if, you, if you would. Listen to Revelation and be cognizant of what's going on in the world around us. Yeah, yeah. You see that God's got his hand right on the pulse of what's happening in our world. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's telling us what's going on. Yeah. It points right to it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. And here's why you all should not be so caught up in this world. That's hey, right. Hey, that was right. right. That was right. I'm telling you, this world, uh, 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 Revelation 18 says, when God is through with this world, uh, in one hour, one hour, uh, one hour. you're wiping it out. That's the word. Everything. Everything. All that you work for and all that stuff, <laughs> you're wiping it out in just a minute. Say they're gonna be weeping and wailing and grinning. They're gonna be weeping and crying and carrying on because uh, their, their hearts have been in this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm saying lay that up for yourself, trade, but rust and rust and mark and break through. Don't do that because this stuff is passing. We don't get so caught up in it. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Back to the text. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, faith is obedience <laughs> to God in action. All right. Faith is obedience <laughs> to God in action. Yes. I can talk faith all day. All right. But it's not till you see the action 
of my obedience to God's word that you see faith in us. You hear some people talk about faith and, 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 and you think they got the greatest faith in the world. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like the story I read one time. This, 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 this fellow was going to see his girlfriend and he just had this long litany of things he, you know, uh, he, he cared about his girl. Yeah. You know, would swim in the ocean. Oh, Lord. All this long list of things. Yeah. This just comes off cuffs. I don't remember all this. But I do listen. The last thing he said, last thing he said, oh, all he was going to do. And then he said, I see you if it don't rain. I see you if it don't rain. And you can talk faith. You can tell me all that stuff. But you got to put some actions in your life. Faith is obedience to God in action. That's what it is. Abraham's faith in God led him to obey God. That's what it is. Yeah. But you, you know, we, 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 we really show where our hearts are based on what we do every day. Amen. 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 We, we wouldn't miss a day on the job. Mm, that's right. Oh. Can they see your but hey, I see you in church if it don't rain. Talk, sir. Talk, sir. Abraham's faith. Talk, sir. This is kind of faith that obeys God. And guess what? Listen, Saint, this is why I want to take my time saying this. Because this kind of faith leads to great blessings. Yes, it does. Yeah. It leads to great blessings. So right. tell me. And not just physical blessings. Talk, sir. I'm talking about mentally. Talk, sir. Emotionally, okay. physiologically, psychologically, relational. It really leads to great Talk, blessings. Sir. If some of us had not had a competition of feeding God, some would be crazy. Right? <laughs> In the best of the night, we'd be out of our mind. Yes, sir. If God didn't keep us. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all talking, sir. Faith leads to great blessings. Yeah. Our task, according to the text, is to duplicate the kind of faith that Abraham had. Yes, yeah. Right. When a person lacks faith in God, it will normally lead him or her to disobey God. Mm -hmm. Disobedience comes into play when we as people operate under human resources. Human. Rather than the spiritual yes, sir. resources. That's why, that's why Philippians, I think it's chapter 2, Said, let this man be yeah. you that was also yeah. in Christ Jesus. Y'all right. yeah. know Jesus left his throne in Rome yeah. and came down here on this earth. He so left it. Huh? Yeah, he did. He told his father, if you make me about an apple, then I'll redeem it. And God let him. Based on his desire, because of his love, he came down, you know, and he obeyed the Father. Yeah. Whatever the Father told him to do, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me just go back. <laughs> More than often, many of us have made great messes in our lives. Yes, sir. Well, amen. As a result of this type of behavior, by utilizing the senses. No faith. It's always senses. Yes, sir. Y'all remember the generation that uh, where the transition took place, if it feels good, do it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. That thing came out real popular like that. Yeah. If it feels good, just do it. Don't, don't worry about who you're hurting. Uh -huh. <laughs> don't, don't worry about nothing. If it feels good to you, just do it. 
that took that took this this flesh to another level. Yeah. Uh, but Abraham exhibited the kind of faith that trusted God. Yeah. And believed in what God told him to do. Now it took him a little while to get there. Well, well. Don't know, none of us have ever become giants. Amen. Giants. Uh, uh, it takes a minute. But Abraham exhibits this when he try, when he fa when he fails to trust God and lies to Pharaoh about Pharaoh being his sister to save his own life. Amen. No, no model about Abraham. Because some of y'all lies save y'all behind. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but but that's 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 not the kind of faith that God wants us to have. Right. Uh, uh, uh. But not only is faith, Amen. Uh, uh, it's it, it's 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 it uh, discloses actions of our obedience to God. Not, on, not only does it do that, but here, here's the third thing I want to say. Faith, faith is obedient to God in action, that's the first thing. But secondly, uh, faith, uh-oh, uh-oh, come back here, how pretty. I got the faith that you're coming back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all know I'm going to do things in threes. I try to do it in threes. Don't find it. But faith in action draws us closer to God. All right. When we practice our faith, it draws us closer to God. Why? Because we, when we practice our faith, we are obedient to God's word. All right. God says, keep my commandments. That's what he said. He, he said, do what I tell you to do. Man shall not live by Lord. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Really? We try to follow his word. And faith in action draws us close to God. Our faith in God calls us to see the awesome power of God. Yes, sir. Yeah. Some folk in this church has been healed yeah. of fatal diseases. Yes, sir. Amen. Some of you are going to have enough. You are. Know. Yeah. So some have done that. Yeah. They have been healed in their body. Yes, sir. Yes, some have been delivered in some awesome ways. Yes, sir. Amen. We, we've seen the power of God. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. 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 All right. And listen, listen to me. God would not be God if he did not obey himself. Yeah. 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 If God didn't keep his word. Yeah. In the beginning was in the beginning was the word. Word was God. God keeps his word. When we come to church on Sunday, God says, I'll meet you here. Amen. Amen. And if you come to church, you don't meet him here. Guess what's wrong? You. You, you got to come in faith. You got to come believing he's going to be here. And he's going to speak to you in a personal way. Yes, sir. It doesn't always happen through the preaching. Well, that's right. It can happen through a song. It can happen through a prayer. Right. It can happen just through encountering somebody. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's right. But if you show up, God is going to meet you here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, we get caught, caught up in the physical aspect. And if the crowd don't jump and shout and sing and hug and all kinds of things, you, well, God wasn't out of bed. Still, small folks. That's right. Yeah. 
That's it. Yes. That's how he works. Sometimes he'll come in the whirlwind. Yes, sir. Sometimes he will come in the shout and the singing and the hollering and the yes, Sometimes he'll come that way, but it don't always happen. Nasa, Nasa. God can take the ordinary and cause it to become Yes, it is. 
He said, so in Malachi, he said, if you pay the tithes, he says, I'll open the windows of heaven and pour you out blessings. Some of y'all already experienced it. You got clothes you can't even wear. That's right. Just packed up. Some of y'all clothes you got to take. Sure, you have to leave one. Yeah. Not room enough to receive. Some of you got more cars than that driveway. That's right. That's true. He said, I'll open you the windows of heaven yeah. and pour you out blessings yes. that not room enough to receive. That's what he said. Amen. Oh, that Amen. must have ain't got the Abraham. <laughs> Abraham was called Abram in, in the beginning. Abraham married a woman by the name of Sarah, whose name means barren or contentious, whose name was later changed to Sarah. Uh huh. Yeah. Why did God choose us? That's right. Well, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know either, Pastor. I always say like uh, Andre Crouchy, I don't know why he loves us. But I'm just glad he did. I'm so glad that he loves me. And you see, that's why I say, saints, we ought to praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah. Because there's no rhyme or reason other than in God that we are here and not on skin row. Yes, yes, no rhyme or reason why we're not in jail. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Why you not a Uh, there's still some people stuck in 
in the earth of the Japanese. Mm -hmm. yeah. You need to come out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Idol worshiping is the idea of fake worship. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some of y'all still worshiping fake stuff. Mm -hmm. they, they ain't got no power. Yeah, they, no. When you get in trouble, they can't do nothing to help you. You're worshiping your money. And, 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 and God can put you in this way. Your money can do you know. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yes, sir. But you're worshiping it. No. Put you in a situation where money can't do nothing for your health. That's yes, right. sir. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Ain't it some America has written on her money exactly. in God? We trust. We trust. We trust. <laughs> Lord, yeah. But I found out. <laughs> I thought I thought that about, about that thing for a while. I found out that that may not be as erroneous as we think. Thank God. Because America does trust their money. Yeah. Think about it. About that. Everything. That's why we're in the shape we're in right now. That's right. It's about money. How many of y'all get them potential spam calls in it? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All day long. All day long. All day long. All day long. <laughs> After the dollar. After the dollar. Mm -hmm. Do anything to get it. Anything. And listen, have you noticed that the, the governing leaders ain't doing that much to change that? Mm -hmm. nope. They dressing some stuff and they dress up. None of that. Because that's, they know that's what they all about. Ah, let me cut the tables. Worshiping of idols, worshiping man's made materials. Mm -hmm. I thought about it and I did it for a grand funeral up there. I said, we don't want to serve a God that can't go any further than the casting. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. You don't want to worship a God that can't go any further than the funeral home. Yes, sir. Amen. You want to worship a God that is able to go beyond man made stuff. Yes. Yes. That's right. And when man has done all he can, you know what the word said? I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. I have a home. Oh, I, I, I. Eternal. But he will bless you according to Deuteronomy 28 when you follow his word. Amen. 
Yes, sir. That's so get me told this time. Uh, go to Matt, go to Deuteronomy 28, Matt. This is what I'm going to do, yeah? Go to 28, help me, help me close this sermon. I'm getting ready to close it. But I want y'all to see Deuteronomy. what God has promised in his word. I, I think you can stick your hand out. Start right on there, start right on verse 8. Verse, verse, verse 2, I believe. Go to verse 8. Yeah, I want you to read. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 28. If y'all got your Bible, you can read it. Okay. And all these blessings shall come on thee. Listen, listen. All these blessings shall come on thee. And overtake thee. Overtake thee! If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Oh, God, if you just listen to it, why are they going pay him? Yes, sir. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. When you're in the service. That's blessed the shall be the fruit of thy body. Fruit of thy body, that's your health. And the fruit of thy ground. Yeah. And the fruit of thy cattle. The increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy shepherd. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Mm. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. Yes, sir. Amen. The Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee. Oh, God! To be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one, one way, way and flee before thee seven. seven ways. Ways. Uh -huh. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouse. Command it! And in all that thou settest up thy hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Amen. That's what he said. Now, we have all these blessings yeah. mm -hmm. according to Genesis 12, yeah. 1 through 3. Mm -hmm. We have them. Even though God called Abraham out they were to be contingent on us through Jesus. Amen. And Jesus fulfilled his call. Uh -oh. Yes, he did. It got rough. Yeah. But he fulfilled his call in order that we would be blessed. Yes, sir. Oh. Amen. He got so weak in well. trying to deliver this blessing to us. And he stooped down on his knees in the garden of his head. Yeah. And said, Father, let this cup yeah. pass from me. Yes, yeah. yes. And the Bible said he prayed so fervently yeah. that sweat ran down like a yeah. yeah. He prayed one time and he didn't feel like he got in touch. He prayed again and he didn't feel like it. Third time he prayed. And he said, Father, not my will, but thy will be done. That's why y'all need to change from y'all praying in prayer. Y'all change praying the wrong way. You just should say, Father, your will be done. And when he prayed that way, the angels came and strengthened him. Got up. Set his face toward Calvary as a flint. Went on up to God, God's brow, and he laid down his life. Ah, and you and I, he died. Yes, Tell me, God, he died. A yes, death for us. Yes. So that we might be blessed. Yes, Most of all, with salvation. Got up early. early. Sunday morning. Yes, Can have these blessings. Yes, sir. He's no respect yes, sir. person. Yes, sir. You just got to do what he You just got to do what he said. That's all. That's it. It's a man. Written in a book. And he'll do it. Do what he said. I'm not But more importantly, I, I still feel this on Wednesday night in the Bible study. He talked about the gift of salvation. Amen. It's free gift. It ain't cost you nothing. It costs Jesus or something. Amen. It costs you. All it costs you is to open your mouth. Yes, 
Yes, sir. Right. Say, I believe. Yeah. The Bible says, if thou will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. When God, makes you, when God says something, you can take it to the bank. He said, Thou shalt be saved. But with a heart, man believes in the right and mouth confession is made of his salvation. Yes. It's a gift. Yes. The only thing you can do for a gift is receive it. That's right. If you got to work for it, it ain't a gift. All right. That's true. <laughs> if you got to do a thing for it, it ain't a gift. I give this table down and we can say, yeah, baby, but you gotta wash the dishes the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, no, that's not a gift. That's not a gift. Gift, Jesus said, is a gift. The wages of sin is death. Yes, the gift of God is yes, eternal life yes, through Jesus Christ. Our Lord. I'm, I'm free. I'm free. Y'all may not believe me. I'm not going to a whole lot. It's all right. It's all right. I'm going to get faith. Yes, sir. I'm going to get faith. Yes. You can operate by faith. You can give it all that stuff. You know, we don't do this because of that. You, you don't do it because we feel like it. We do it because of faith. Faith, faith in the belief that God's word is true. Amen. It will be fulfilled. Is it over the church? Is it over the church? I don't know if I would like singing that so much. But I do. Is it over the church? If there's one here that's never accepted Jesus but would like to do so today, is your Savior that you're here today and you need a church home, you will be a part of a church that preaches that God called Jesus Christ. We invite you to come. We invite you to come today.